Done. When I moved to Jakarta, it was 1967, and it was a time that had followed great suffering and conflict in parts of this country. And even though my stepfather had served in the army, the violence and killing during that time of political upheaval was largely unknown to me because it was unspoken by my Indonesian family and friends. In my household, like so many others across Indonesia, the memories of that time were an invisible presence. Indonesians had their independence, but oftentimes they were afraid to speak their minds about issues. In the years since then, Indonesia has charted its own course through an extraordinary democratic transformation from the rule of an iron fist to the rule of the people. In recent years, the world has watched with hope and admiration as Indonesians embraced the peaceful transfer of power and the direct election of leaders. And just as your democracy is symbolized by your elected president and legislature, your democracy is sustained and fortified by its checks and balances. A dynamic civil society, political parties and unions, a vibrant media, and engaged citizens who have ensured that in Indonesia there will be no turning back from democracy. But even as this land of my youth has changed in so many ways, those things that I learned to love about Indonesia, that spirit of tolerance that's written into your constitution, symbolized in mosques and churches and temples standing alongside each other, that spirit that's embodied in your people, that still lives on. Benika Tungal Ika, Unity and Diversity. This is the foundation of Indonesia's example to the world. And this is why Indonesia will play such an important part in the 21st century. So today, I re return to Indonesia as a friend, but also as a president who seeks a deep and enduring partnership between our two countries. Because as vast and diverse countries, as neighbors on either side of the Pacific, and above all, as democracies, the United States and Indonesia are bound together by shared interests and shared values. Yesterday, President Yudo Yono and I announced a new comprehensive partnership between the United States and Indonesia. We are increasing ties between our governments in many different areas. And just as importantly, we are increasing ties among our people. This is a partnership of equals grounded in mutual interests and mutual respect. So with the rest of my time today, I'd like to talk about why the story I just told, the story of Indonesia since the days when I lived here, is so important to the United States and to the world. I will focus on three areas that are closely related and fundamental to human progress. Development, democracy, and religious faith. First, the friendship between the United States and Indonesia can advance our mutual interest in development. When I moved to Indonesia, it would have been hard to imagine a future in which the prosperity of families and children